One of the challenges in this story is that every single person listening already knows about the ubiquity of open source. And the bit that we're really telling them about is the difference between pulling these bits together and creating a big bucket of open source on your box and having in the Azure infrastructure someone who's taken away all of the concerns about lifting that box off your machine and optimizing its delivery into the cloud infrastructure so that it does what you expect at scale. And what Microsoft have done by making that engineering investment in open source projects that are not just Microsoft branded open source projects, they've looked at the ecosystem and said, what are people really using? Let's make this environment the best place for them to use that, be that Docker or Python or, or Kubernetes or whatever it is. These are first class citizens in the cloud and we support them all to enable those productivity gains to be had by everybody who buys into this ecosystem. It's taking the advantages that you already have as an individual developer and scaling it out into cloud scale. And then feeding that back in to what you need to then operationalize that. What is the ops, the DevOps story? What is the operation stories? What is the support story? How do we manage the security and the logging and all those kinds of things which are layered over by the Microsoft Azure infrastructure over these discrete open source packages so that you can still use them with the same fidelity and ease of developer experience, ease of operations experience, and expectation of security, privacy, and uptime that you would get from the closed source offerings of 10 years ago. That is what has enabled Smarter365 to exist as a business. If we had to invest in all those baseline security, privacy, the support, the operations, everything else that would have been part of a traditional on-prem organization, or indeed a Gen 1 cloud operation where you were standing up VMs and putting this open source infrastructure in there by hand, we would need an organization funded 10 times as well as we are just to get off the ground. <laughs>